What's going on guys? When is the last opportunity you'll have to ride Splash Mountain? As well as there's some new rules that was announced at Space Mountain. Let's find out on this 5 Minutes of Disney. What's going on guys? I'm Mr. TechBot and this is 5 Minutes of Disney where everybody has 5 minutes to talk a little Disney. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with those post notification bells down below. As spoken about before, the Disney After Hours event is returning and the very first date on January 1st, 2023 has already completely sold out. These After Hour events are scheduled from January 4th to April 19th at both Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. These events allow you an extra three hours in the park at the end after closing uh, to enjoy all the rides with very limited amount of people. You also get treats like Mickey ice cream, popcorn, and select beverages. Again, the tickets for this event are very limited, so wait times for these rides are going to be extremely low, if not complete walk-on. The tickets for these events are selling between $129 to $149 based on the date. If this sounds like something that you guys might want to try in your next Disney vacation, definitely make sure to book this in as early as you can, as they're, again, first night's already sold out, who knows when the next one will be. Over at Space Mountain, filming on your phone or having your phone out during the ride is 100% no longer allowed. There's been new signs posted outside of Space Mountain indicating that any loose items must be put in the pouch that is attached to the ride vehicle. This seems to have caused some safety concerns for guests possibly dropping things. And since there are multi cars going on on the track at the same time, uh, the, the safety factor of somebody getting hit with something uh, it definitely goes up. So unfortunately, because of probably some recent incidents that have happened, Disney's made sure that there's no loose items allowed to be going on while the ride is in motion anymore. And to be honest with you, think about it. It's a dark ride. What are you really going to film anyways? As previously announced on this show, as well as at the D23 Expo, Splash Mountain will be transformed over to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Well, we now have a closing date of January 22nd, 2023. Yes, this means that up until this date, you can still ride Splash Mountain as it originally was, uh, where you can find Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Br'er still running around causing mayhem. Now, again, this date is for Disney World, not Disneyland. Disneyland has not yet released a closing date for the Splash Mountain over there, although they are also getting a transformation to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Now remember, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is slated to open up for guests in late 2024. Now, I have heard a lot of ups and downs on this ride, whether people like it the old way or people are okay with it doing the new way, whether it's political or whether it's not. I choose to see this as creating a new connection for the next generation. As Princess and the Frog is a widely popular movie and nowadays kids, like my kids, have no idea what Songs of the South is and have no idea who these characters are. So there is no connection other than there's a water ride. Now, I know I'm just here to give you the news and I'm not here to tell you how you should feel on this big change, but I do want to remind you that Walt always used to say, progress is impossible without change. Disney has released the first look of the new under the sea theme rooms that are gonna be over at the Caribbean Beach Resort. Of course, these are replacing the pirate rooms that have already been in there for, I would think, about 9 or 10 years. Uh, these rooms are much brighter than, than what they were before with blues, whites, and greens. Uh, hardwood floors have been added, as well as it looks like not one, but two Murphy beds, possibly making this room a total of five people that could sleep in it. Lastly, there's a three-part under the sea picture on the back side of one of the Murphy beds, kind of tying in the entire theme. I look forward to this new uh, room theme as my kids are huge Little Mermaid fans, uh, so they will absolutely love this new theming quite well. And I like that even for adults, it's not in your face Little Mermaid. It has that great subtleties with the colors and the pictures. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I love talking Disney news and bringing it to you. If you did enjoy this show, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment on anything, whether it's more information or just you want to talk a little bit more about the topics of today, as well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with those post notification bells down below. As I always like to say here, Mr. TechBot, do what you like, do what you love, and always, guys, unleash your inner nerd. Have a good one. Later.